Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trello Mountain, and today I have another headlamp from a company called Nikkor. Here's their website right here. Check these guys out. Making lots and lots and lots of really, really cool, inexpensive lights, flashlights, emergency lights, um, firearm lights. They're also delving into camera equipment and stuff like that. So definitely worth a look at. Check out Nikkor. So they just sent me this headlamp and I'm going to be taking it with me to Big Sur. I'll show you what it looks like when we get out into the backcountry and how bright it really gets. Uh, but this is the HC60 V2. Now, I'm not one for, you know, having the head strap that goes along the top of my head. Um, I like the ones that go around, but uh, this thing was pretty interesting. So it, it, is, uh, it is 1,200 lumens, max lumen. Uh, it does have a one meter impact resistance, which is pretty much industry standard. It is waterproof, IP, uh, IPX7 waterproof rated, so that's cool. And uh, 130 meter max beam distance. So, it also USB-C. So, without further ado, I'm going to get this thing unboxed on the table behind me like usual. Basically just showing the features and benefits and why you would want to buy one of these or not. And then we'll get this thing outside, I'll show you how bright it gets, and we'll finish up this review. So, let's get started. Alright, so here's your HC60 V2, USB-C rechargeable high performance headlamp, 1200 max lumen. It has an Osram P9 LED in there, it includes a 3400 milliamp hour battery, and a USB-C charging cable. Let's get this thing unboxed. First things first, you have your owner's manual, you have your worldwide warranty service, so that's cool. A little QR code there, find us on Facebook, keep innovating, website, customer service, email, which is super important, really cool. Okay, so there's your owner's manual, 100 degree wide range flood beam, patented power indicator, patented... Um, ATR technology, so there's a lot built in here. It does have a Nikkor branded USB-C charging cable. Super efficient. It does come with extra O-rings, and if you look closely, right there is a little extra power button and a case gasket, so that's cool. First time I've seen that. And here's the star of the show right here. Nikkor HC60. This is movable. You can adjust this up or down. Recharging port is in here. On If you had it on, it would be on the right-hand side. So you unscrew that, and it has a little, basically a little cap tether. And there's your charging port right there. And there's a nice gasket around the threads here that's already lubricated. Screw that back together. Nice and tight. And the other side is where your battery is. And there's your battery, 3400 milliamp hour Nikkor branded 18650 battery. So that goes in positive towards the charging port. Nice little spring. Also lubricated threads and the O-ring there to keep all the water out. It does have these nice little knurling around the, uh, around the, the knobs too, or around the, the caps, which I really like. The body is super nice. It has nice little heat sinks along the top and on the bottom here. One button here. So, turn it on, and then you kind of just cycle through. There's your full. And then you push and hold it and turns it off. Push and hold it, and then it goes into automatic turbo, or the highest setting. And then you can turn it off. You push and hold it and turns it off. This thing is ridiculously bright. It does have a Nikkor branded. I don't know if you can see that because I'm kind of blinded because the light was flashing me right in the eyes. But it is branded Nikkor right there. 
it does have this nice little sticky on the inside of the headband. Fully adjustable. And you can remove the top strap if you don't want it. Me, I kind of like, whatever, you know, it's there. If this would be more of like a headlamp that I would use like working around the house or car camping, I wouldn't necessarily backpack with this because I think it's a little on the heavy side. Um, but car camping, absolutely. Here's the ancient ways. There's your USB-C charging cable, headlamp and everything. We're at six ounces even, though. So not the heaviest, but it's definitely not the lightest. Um, I do have headlamps that are much lighter than this one. However, time and a place. This thing does have a hard anodized finish. It is military grade. This thing also has integrated advanced temperature regulation or ATR, meaning that when it gets too hot, it's gonna lower the light output to kind of conserve power, number one, but to also reduce heat. So it is a wide range flood optic system. It's basically 100 degrees. All right, so this also has strobe, beacon, and SOS. So when it's on, or I believe when it's off, let me turn it off. So there's your strobe. Double tap to turn on strobe. You hit it one more time, does SOS. And one more time, it'll do beacon. So it has many, many light, uh, uh, light modes. And push it, long press it, kind of goes back to off. So all the light output modes, you have SOS, beacon, strobe, ultra low, low, mid, high, and then turbo. And turbo is obviously the 1200 lumens, high is um, 450 lumens, mid is 250 lumens, low is 40 lumens, ultra low is one lumen. The strobe, beacon, and SOS are 1200 lumens respectively. And then from off, you push and hold it, it goes ultra low, there's your one lumen. You turn it off, but if you push and hold it, it goes into ultra low, and then it goes into turbo, which is the full-on 1200 lumen. All right, well, let's get this bad boy outside, and I'll show you how bright it gets. All right, so I got the Nightcore flashlight, or headlamp, and I'm gonna turn it up so you can see how bright this thing really gets. Full. That's on high. It's crazy bright. Do a little bit of backpacking in Big Sur. That's my camp. Get some off. It's low. Medium, high, and turtle. Pretty dang bright. So essentially what you do is you just kind of put it on just like so. It goes on the top of your head like this. And uh, you can rotate the body of it. It is pretty thick, so you kind of have to hold the bracket. And then you can move this thing up and down. So if you're like eating and um, or reading a book or a map and you didn't want to blind somebody in front of you, you would obviously angle it downward. So, but for the most part, it's super comfortable. Uh, that little sticky thing on the inside of the uh, of the band makes it not budge or move around. Or um, It is a little wobbly on the head just because of the weight. Like I wouldn't like trail run with this per se, but... Um, car camping or even backpacking. I mean, I'm taking it to Big Sur backpacking, so just to review it. But normally I wouldn't bring something like that into the backcountry that's that heavy. All right, so that's my review of the HC60 V2 from Nikkor. Here's their website one more time right here. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of cool stuff, definitely worth a look at, and they've been around for a while, so exponentially, year after year, they keep coming out with more, more, more and more cooler stuff. If you like my review and found it informative and I answered some questions for you, maybe you had some questions that got answered, you liked the review, you wanted to make a purchase, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description box down below where you can make your purchase. When you make your purchase using that link, it helps support my YouTube channel. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the last few years. Few years. I've been on YouTube now for 10 years, so it's kind of hard for me to believe that, but here I am, 10 years later, still doing this stuff for you guys. So I really appreciate all the help and love and support you guys have shown me. So thank you again. If you guys have any questions or comments about the headlamp, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. 
Also, too, please like, please share, and you know what's coming. Please subscribe. really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So I did a poll uh, recently. I just went into the back office on YouTube, and about 60% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So I highly encourage you to subscribe or at least consider subscribing if you haven't already. So once again, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera gear reviews, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.